Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for video number two in the new studio. Um, so welcome back. Uh, thank you to everyone for all the uh, wonderful comments in my last video. I'm still going through all of them. Um, so the painting is dry. So <laughs> I have never in the old house, um, never had a painting of that size dry so fast. Even my small 12 by 16s didn't dry as fast. So it just goes to show um, temperature, humidity, um, all that plays a huge factor uh, in the amount of time it takes for a painting to dry. Typically, a piece that large in my old home would take anywhere between four to five days to dry. And I kid you not, this thing was dry in like less than two days. So I painted that Tuesday morning and today's Thursday morning, but you're not watching this until Saturday, but it is dry. I can't, I was texting Tammy and I was like, oh my gosh, Tammy, my painting's already dry. Like I cannot believe how fast. And I have paint skins. Um, even the paint on the table dried where I could literally peel it off. And now I have paint skins like this. This is crazy. I'm not used to this. I am not used to my painting drying so fast. Um, so I'm now going to show you the dried result of my painting from the previous video. I'm so happy with it. <laughs> Look at this. And I forgot in the last video, I know I showed you guys a close up and then I always turn the lights off and show you guys a close up with the flashlight on with the light on. And I totally forgot to do that. You see, these are things I forget to do after not painting for almost three months. Um, but yeah, so I forgot to show you guys the shimmer, um, but you can see it now. Oh my goodness. I am so happy with this piece. Um, I'm really, look how pretty it is. So much shimmer in this. I cannot even, I can't even get the whole thing. Look at that. I am very, very happy with this. And of course, this is going to get um, a top coat of crystal resin. All right, let me put this back. Hold on. <laughs> let me put it back. So it'll get... Uh, a top coat of crystal resin and don't forget there is the crystal resin um, sale that's happening right now as well as the Loli Vefi um, BOGO sale for the silicone mats. So check out the information in the description below or in my previous video. Um, there's a very big sale happening with both crystal resin and Loli Vefi. So get the products while you can before they are sold out. Um, I did notice in my last video, because I have this window here, um, there was a reflection on my black portion of the painting. So I have to keep these things in mind in this new home. Uh, in my last studio, there was no window behind me. So I'm going to have to get either A, paint at night, which isn't always um, doable for me, um, or B, if I'm painting during the day, like today at 11.15, I need to get some maybe black fabric or something so that I can just drape over the window if I'm doing a black base because the reflection was horrible. I didn't realize there was such a reflection. Um, okay, so Valentine's Day is coming up in a couple of days. So I'm going to be working on a Valentine's Day themed pour today. So pinks and reds. Um, pinks I'm really liking, um, but pink and red is Valentine's color. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it in the shape of a heart. So this should be very interesting. Um, and so I'm going to get myself set up. And oh, and before I forget, don't forget about the Naples, Florida workshop. I mentioned it in my last video and I had a bunch of emails flood in um, for people who were interested in information. We had a few people sign up, so spots are filling up. And if you are interested, don't delay because once the spots are full, we are sold out. So fluidartescape at gmail.com. We have some amazing sponsors 
And you know what that means? Amazing sponsors means we're gonna have some really awesome swag goodies for you. There's gonna be all kinds of gifts for all the students to take home with them. Uh, Loli Veffy products, color art products, Amsterdam products, um, all kinds of stuff. There's going to be an abundance of free gifts for everyone to take home in a cool swag bag. Um, so please email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com if you are interested in finding out more information about the trip or the workshop in Naples, Florida in July. All right, I'm going to set myself up. I'm going to get started and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, let's get started. So I have here a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I buy them at Michael's. I have taped the back or the bottom and I am using my amazing furniture levelers. Uh, I buy them off Amazon and you can find them listed in my Amazon shop. I love these things because you just twist the bottom and you can literally level out the entire piece just by twisting the legs. However, I gotta say, I gotta give some props to my husband. Um, my dad built me this amazing table at the old studio, at the old home. And, um, you know, because he used a nail gun and like literally put nails all over this thing and even glued down the MDF. So I didn't know how we were gonna take this table apart and, um, you know, just so that we can get it out of the basement. And my husband is a genius and he took his saw and literally cut the table in half. Um, we actually ripped up the MDF um, from the table and luckily we didn't damage it too much. Um, so the surface stayed intact underneath where the glue was, there's a little damage, but it didn't matter. And then my husband literally cut the table in half. Um, and the movers were able to move it. So then when we brought it here, um, Matt, there, if you remember my table, when I used to video this part here, actually, um, the lumber kind of warped. So it kind of slid down. So it was never perfectly level on this side. Well, my awesome husband fixed all that. And when I tell you this table is a hundred percent level, it is so perfectly level. I'm super excited because now I don't have to fidget too much with popsicle sticks or these levelers underneath. I didn't actually have to do anything with the levelers, but I do like that it makes it high and brings it up off my table. All right, I'm gonna stop talking about that. <laughs> All right, so 20 by 20 inch canvas. I have drawn a heart, not that it matters because I'm gonna cover it in white paint anyway. Um, but what I did do, because I'm so horrible at freehanding things, I just took a piece of paper and I drew half a heart. Um, so that way I could kind of see where my idea of my, where my heart was gonna go. And then I just flipped it on the other side and I traced the other side. So I'm gonna use this as a template. I've put a little marking down here on my table so I know where the center is. Because once I cover it in white paint, you're not gonna see that anymore. Um, so my base paint is going to be my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, but it's a 2019 bottle. Okay. If, and you'll see it down here, um, down here, the date, it says 2019. Okay. So if you have a bottle and it says 2020, 2021, or 2022, or it says, um, not flow acrylic, it says soft body odds are it's the really bad white paint that is going to really ruin your painting. Um, I have a few bottles of 2019 thanks to some fellow viewers of mine who sent me their 2019 bottles. So thank you to everyone who had sent me that um, back in the summer. So I still have some of it. So I'm going to use that as my base. And the colors I'm using are going to be Luminous Rose by Holbein. Then I have Quinacridone Rose Light by Amsterdam followed by Pearl Hot Pink by Arteza. So there's one of my shimmers. Then I have Light Rose by Amsterdam. And I'm going to throw in a smidgen, just a smidgen of 24 karat gold by Deco Art. Now, why am I doing that? I really like the depth and the shimmer and the overlay of shimmer that the 24 karat gold gives once you blow the paint out. So I am adding a touch of gold. 
And then of course, red heart, you know, I'm Valentine's. I'm gonna throw in red. I'm not sure how it's all gonna work out, but let's see. This is Carmine by Amsterdam. And then topping it off, I have Iridescent Violet Blue by Pebeo. So that is um, seven colors, which is kind of a lot for a 20 by 20 inch canvas, but um, I'm going to make it work and I'm going to center my canvas here. All right. So these are the colors I'm using. If you are interested to learn how I mix my paints, you can check out video number 63 on my YouTube channel. I will link it up here at the top. However, a lot of you have asked me to do a new and updated version of um, my paint mixing video ratio. So I will be doing that. Give me about a week or so and I will do a new video um, with all new ratios with um, using like more pigment in paints like uh, Amsterdam, Windsor, Newton. I don't mix those exactly the same way as you. I used to mix my Artist Loft or my Liquitex basic basics paints. So I will do an updated version to video number 63. So just um, be patient with me and I will get to that uh, in the next week or so. All right, so I am going to flood my canvas and I shall be right back. I have flooded the canvas. I'm ready to go. I did notice there was a little few goopies in there, or as I call them, boogers, uh, paint boogers. Um, and that's probably because my paint um, sat in a moving truck um, for over 24 hours uh, in minus below temperatures. <clears throat> so I'm wondering if that kind of mucked up some of my paints. Um, so, but it's not an issue. Um, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll just strain it all, uh, into another bottle with all my, um, pre-mixed paints there. Um, just to make sure that there's no boogies in any of the other ones that I have pre-mixed. Um, these Loli Vapi bottles I took with me in my car, so they never froze. I, I don't think this froze, but it definitely got super duper cold. So, <clears throat> um, yeah. So that could be the reason for some of the paint boogies I just picked out of this. All right, so <clears throat> this should be interesting because now I gotta figure out how to do my heart. So I'm going to um, kind of lightly, I know my center is right here because I did put a line um, in my canvas here, I mean on my table. And so I'm just kind of, without dropping this into the paint, I'm kind of going to do an outline and I missed. I actually got the, the paint the paint on. Okay. So now let me just <clears throat> excuse me, flip it. It it doesn't have to be perfect. I just kind of want it to be. Oh god, I'm not a left handy. I'm not left-handed, but I shall try with my left hand just to kind of get an idea. Oh, I just dipped my knuckles into the white paint. Okay, there, that's, <laughs> look what I did. <laughs> that's all I wanted. I just wanted kind of like the outline. So now, now I can do this. Oh, it's so pretty. See, it's a perfect heart. If I had freehanded that, let me tell you, it would not have looked um, this pretty. And in fact, in fact, let's just go a little further down there. Now, my, my thought is how am I going to blow this out? Um, because of the way the shape is, I've never done a shape like this before. So, um, and now that I think about it, that dark pink I put on was Holbein. And I always need to remember to go very light handed when it comes to Holbein. All right, so now we have the Arteza. 
You know, I still can't believe how fast my painting dried. Like that is record, record timing for me. Um, so that's gonna get a top coat of resin and it will be available for purchase for anyone who is interested in that <laughs> piece. And uh, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com if you would like to purchase that piece. Oh, the gold really does look pretty though. <gasps> okay, just a smidge. That's a smidge? I hope that's a smidge. All right, red. I don't know about red, but we shall go for it. And I've put it closer to the top because I don't want it getting lost under all these pinks. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna blow this out? I have a feeling this isn't really gonna look like a heart when I'm done, um, but hey, you gotta give it a try, right? This is a lot of paint, a lot, as I do that again, <laughs> again. Oh, uh, well, trial and error, right guys? So uh, let's just pop these bubbles. Boy. All right, so I am going to be using the flower hair dryer because it's smaller and because I have this odd design here, <clears throat> I uh, I need to make sure I have more control and, and a smaller spout to uh, blow this out. So my thought process was to start here and literally just go like this and blow it all down in one direction. That's it. Um, cause I have a feeling if I do, um, my typical like this, um, I, I don't know if I do this and I get to the center here, well, I'm going to start here. I'm going to start with a blow down the center and then work my way and then see what happens. I like, I don't know what else to do. So I've never done this composition before. So let's just give it a go. Um, wish me luck. It actually worked. I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> oh, okay. This needs to stay this way. It cannot go over. So I'm going to have to monitor this um, and come back to it and make sure that it doesn't come over. This I like. And you know what? I'm so glad I added the 24 karat gold. So now I think the only thing I want to fidget with... <gasps> Oh my goodness, look at the cells. Oh my gosh. Um, I just want to bring this out a bit because um, this part looks a little funky to me. Um, oh my, my oh my. There's a little paint chunk there. I'm so happy. Boy, I missed painting. I really did miss it. I really, really did. Okay, so I'm on my little Thomas stool, or should I say Lucas's little Thomas stool. And I'm going to just a little bit right here without getting my chest and my microphone into the paint. So let's see here. All right, let me see. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's better. 
Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. See, it's, it's going. Do you see that? Stop it. I might not be able to save that. Um, I'm going to try though. And what I can do maybe, yeah, that's not going to work. I have to, I'm going to fidget with that. So what I'm going to do is, oh, where am I going? It's over here. I'm going to get my Loli Veffy scraper and I'm just going to cut this little top part off right there. Okay. And then I'm going to add white like that. Okay. And then I'm going to have to check the side and make sure there's uh, no pink remnants that kind of fell on the side there. And then just with my finger there, break it up. Okay, so hopefully that will stop that from moving. I don't know. It may or may not. Um, oh, wow. I love it. I can't wait to show you guys a close up and the shimmer is going to be really pretty too because of the nice gold in the Ar Arteza in here um, and the Pebeo. All right. I am going to fix up my sides and I will bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So here it is. I've already um, Fixed my edges. Sorry, I forgot. I need my scraping stick here. Don't forget to scrape your drips. All right. Super important. Get rid of those because those will pull the paint off the top of your canvas and continue to pull it down over the edges. So don't forget to scrape those drips. Now, look how beautiful this is i'm so glad i stuck to my gut and i added that 24 karat gold super super happy i did that because i'm telling you there is some serious shimmer to this piece and i will show you um, when i turn all those studio lights off look at that and don't for and if you stick around to the end of the video i will show you a video tour of my uh, main level, the kitchen and the family room and all that. I forgot to mention that, so stick around to the end. All right, let me turn the lights off and let's check out the shimmer. All right, so it is daytime out here, um, so I'm not sure. Oh no, I am sure. You will see shimmer. You will definitely see the shimmer. And this is why I added the 24 karat gold. Um, it really just accents the piece. So when this dries, though, um, you'll definitely see uh, shimmer from not just the 24 karat gold, but from the iridescent uh, violet blue by Pebeo, as well as the Arteza in here. It will shimmer as well. Um, I just have really horrible lighting right now because it's daytime and not dark in here in the studio. I love it. I love it. All right. Let's turn the lights back on. So there you have it, everybody. Um, happy Valentine's Day. I wish you and your loved ones a great day um, for those of you who celebrate it. If you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, that's fine too. Um, I wish you well anyway. I wish you a happy day full of love and happiness. And I really hope um, you guys have a special day. Um, I am... For those of you who know I'm an orchid lover, if you saw my Instagram post, I purchased myself a blue and purple orchid. Let me put the picture up for you right here. And it came in pink too. And I had to hold myself back from buying that pink orchid because um, I knew my husband would kill me because I already have 10 orchids in the house and now I have 12. But I really, really wanted the pink just to make them all look so pretty on my kitchen island. And I... I knew that my husband would freak out and sure enough, I brought those two home and he's like, more orchids? What are you, crazy? And I'm like, well, it's my Valentine's present to me. But uh, now I do kind of wish I bought the pink one, but I should be saving my money to finish uh, fixing up things around the house. Um, there's a lot of things you got to buy in a new home, blinds, all kinds of stuff that doesn't have when you buy a brand new home. So 
But anywho, I'm really happy with my orchids and they're so pretty. Um, but yeah, I thought that was hilarious. So maybe I'll buy pink. I can't even hide it from him. But anywho, stick around for a tour of the kitchen and the main floor. And this piece is available for purchase. If anyone is interested in this piece, you know what to do. It's a 20 by 20 inch. Um, email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. All the information you need to know is listed in the description below. Uh, the sale for Loli Vefi. There's discounts to Arteza, discounts to glitter, um, a glitter company called Glitter Babes that I use all kinds of glitter from. I'll show you that in upcoming videos. Um, yeah, so I am working on something special right here and I will do a uh, updated version of video number 63. I ramble a lot. It's been so long since I have spoken to all of you. I just feel like there's so much to say and not enough time. Um, but yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. All right, everybody. So let's have a quick tour of the main floor here. So it is, you know, still a mess, still a work in progress, but this is the front door. And then here on the right, we have my husband's office, of course, with his Miami Dolphins um, fun stuff. Huge windows in this house, something we didn't have before. Um, so yeah, this is Matt's office little tour it's perfect in here at the front um so that's the office and this is the dining area this is our new uh table we uh, had to get a new one because the owner loved the other one in our kitchen so much he bought it from us so we had Lindsay from backwood design uh build us a new one those are temporary chairs our new chairs um, which look like those are coming next week. So we will have six chairs. <laughs> There's my central back. Um, so that is the eating area. Here's the echo. Uh, the dogs are adjusting very well. Um, that goes upstairs. Again, really big windows with uh, some of my orchids on the windowsill. This goes to the basement. And then here we have the family room so this whole room here the whole back wall has uh windows and i tell you when the sun comes in it is like a sauna in here um so we sometimes usually have to draw the blinds and close the blinds because it gets too hot in here right now the sun's not out so i'm sure it'll make an appearance um so still decorating, still have some stuff to put up. Oh, here comes the sun. Still have to put stuff up on the walls, but our furniture fit in here quite nicely. So you can see the sun is starting to pour in here. We've got uh, Juno's bed in the back corner there and we've got Echo's bed and we have sliding doors. So this spring we will be building a deck now the backyard is fenced only on the back for now um matt will be building um, a fence on this side and a fence on this side so it will be fully fenced in for the dogs to run around in the backyard hi juno hello hi hello echo hi boys so they've, um, they've adjusted really well. So holy cow, it's getting hot. So here is the kitchen. Um, so we're super happy with the size. It's uh, almost, if not just the same size. Oh, hello, yes, Echo, uh, as, the, as our old kitchen. Um, I really like the island. Uh, I like how it extends and we're able to put our chairs underneath it, kind of like a table. It's actually nice to be able to sit and face each other while we're eating. Um, coffee bar, of course. Um, yeah, so really, Echo, really happy with uh, the kitchen here. Um, lots of storage space. And then over here, uh, we have a walk-in pantry, something I did not have before. So I'm still organizing, but I'm really happy to have 
uh, quite the walk-in pantry. This is a powder room. So, hello. <laughs> so, powder room here. And then this is what we call the mud room slash laundry room. And just still working away. We have another cabinet coming. Um, of course, uh, Pure Later only sent us one instead of two. So we have another one coming up there. But I've been slowly organizing the uh, laundry room. And this is the closet with all our coats and shoes and whatnot. And then in here is the garage. So that's it. Juno, I go. Hi. Yeah. Echo. Hi, buddy. Hi, handsome. So that is the tour of the main floor. Um, we actually really are happy with this home. Um, there's plenty of space for us all. And as I mentioned, mm -hmm. Yes, the dogs have uh, adapted really well. So that is it. Thank you for watching.